Hey, what is up guys? This is KP and welcome back to another episode on programming stuff. Today I'll be teaching you how to create a patch for application on Windows using C-Sharp. So basically what we are going to do is we'll be searching on internet for the existing crack for an application. Then by using C-Sharp code, we will be creating a patch for that application. For this purpose, I've created a demo application which is NPAD. So let's extract it. Now this is a very typical combination that we use to get in every cracked program. So the first thing is setup and the second thing is crack folder where you have to copy this file to the installation folder. So let's first install this setup to this folder. Now when you open this for the first time, you will see that it is saying you that you are using a trial software. It will be active for only seven days. Then your program will start. Now when you go to the crack folder, copy this file to the installation folder and replace it and now when you open this you can see that there is no uh, pop-up saying that you are using a trial version obviously this is the full version so basically what is our approach is we'll be creating a c -sharp application to copy this crack file from its resource to the installation folder to do that you need to have visual studios installed on your desktop if you don't have check the link in the description so from here create a new project then visual c -sharp project and windows form application i'll be naming it as npad and here is you can save your location i'll be saving it to the projects okay and yeah if you're familiar with the c and c then trust me c -sharp gonna be easy for you so this is our physical layout so currently i'm designing my form to make it look better so first thing first let's change the name of form one to something else to do that click on the form go to the properties and here text and change this form one to anything you want like npad patcher by keep all right in the start position in the drop down menu click on the center screen now set this maximize box to false change this form body style to fix single change the icon this okay so now go to the toolbox add folder browse dialog add a picture box by pressing enter you will see the transparent box over here add just the picture box so now we have to set an image to this picture box so to do that i'll be creating an image in photoshop i'm using photoshop cc 2017 so i'll be creating a new file whose dimension is 720 into 300 pixels with black background let's add an image this in my case Once you are done with your editing, quickly export it as a PNG. Now in Visual Studios, click on this arrow button and then choose the image that we have just saved right now. Okay, and select the size mode to stretch image. Click on this image, go to the dock and select it as a top dock, this one. Now extend this a bit, go to the toolbox, add a group box. Now change the group box text to nothing, add a button, change its size to somewhere bigger and adjust it. Now click on the button, change the text to patch the application admin rights. So the user will have to run this application as an admin rights, then only it will patch the application. Alright, so now what you need to do is double click on this button. So here we're going to be writing our patch commands but before that we need to import our crack file to the application resource. To do that go to the solution explorer, click right click on this, go to the properties, in the resource just drag this file. Now notice one thing that this file is not the original application, it is a binary file. You can see the file type is a binary 
and it is only linked at the compile time and it is a string array now go back to your form at the top add using system.io now below this button we have to add our code so let's make a comment getting installation folder from user so to do that we have to use a folder browse dialog folder browse dialog dot description so first we'll be adding description so this will actually show the folder browse dialog now beneath this assigning operators so we'll be creating a string file name installation folder so this string will contain the part of the folder which will user browse now we should check if the user has given a wrong folder so to do that if file that exists installation folder plus address slash npad so what basically this means that it will check if the folder contains this exe file if it contains then only it will start the patching so now we have to export our resource file so now we are exporting our resource file which is this to a temporary directory so to export it we'll do write all bytes to a path that is npad.exe this will be a file name only and the bytes will be our namespace dot properties resource npad so now we'll be creating a backup of that file to do that we'll be using file move now this code will actually rename this npad.exe to npad dot back file now let's copy our patch so let's create a file dot copy which is npad.exe to our destination file which will be this so this will basically copy our patch to the installation folder now we will generate a message message box show so if the user has given the incorrect folder we will display a message saying wrong installation folder all right so this was our all patching events now before building this we will be going to our properties in application we'll be changing our assembly name to npad patcher then change the assembly information make com assembly visible now set a default icon now build this so it has been built to this folder now when you open this for the first time you will get some blurry effect on the form this is due to the unexpected scaling of dpi in windows 10 and also i told you before that users should run this application with admin rights if he doesn't do it uh, there should be an error so we'll be adding these two codes in our project file so suppose if the user have not run this application with the admin rights then double click on the form at the top first add this using system security principle now add a public function which says get admin rights this will help us to check if the user has run the application with an administrator privilege and below the form one load now as an bool variable admin rights is equal to get admin rights which will be the output of this function now if admin rights is equal to false that means if the user have not run this application with administrator privilege for him the button one will be disabled and the button text will change to please run this with the admin permissions and to remove the blurry effect on the form go to the program with cs below this main add this thing and at the top add set process dpi aware now build this now let me just run this notice how the button has been disabled and the text has been changed to please run this with the admin permission now let me run this as an administrator let's click on the pass the application and give the installation folder of the npad let me just give him a wrong folder. so as expected it told us that you have given a wrong installation folder now let's give him a right folder so the application has been passed successfully notice how the application had created a backup file and copied a crack file from its resource folder to this installation folder so this is how you can create your own patching application in c -sharp. basically it all depends on you how strong is your imagination power for designing a form also in terms of coding basically this is the most common method that people try to adopt to create their patching application using existing patch otherwise there is a way beyond this i hope you like this video if you do so hit the like button and subscribe because soon i'll be uploading amazing contents on this channel so that's it for today thank you for watching me and I'll see you next time